Okay, here's my next project. Um, I haven't been in the shop for a long time. And I've been kind of itching to do something, so I decided to come up with a new rack uh, to house my hand planes. And uh, this is the design I came up with. My, my old design I'll show it to you when I, when I get down in the shop. But, and maybe you've seen it in the background of some of my other videos. But this, this layout will give me the opportunity to, to set them on a shelf, dedicated shelf. And then be able to just you know reach over and grab them and not have to uh, play around with unlocking them or any any of that stuff. They'll be safe and secure, and um, and highly visible. I think that's the other thing I like about this. They're going to be uh, showing off a little bit this way. So I've got I've got these shelves laid out uh, based on the size of planes I have. Uh, the the back uh, backing piece of plywood here is going to be Baltic birch, a half inch, uh, 36 by 40. So um, you can see here when I rotate this around what I've got going here. Uh, every all these triangles are the same size except for this one up here. These are all going to be. Um, basically cut out of four by four pieces and this one up here is going to be cut out of a five by five and I'll show you I'll show you the reason for that when I get down there uh, that's for my uh, router plane but you can see the detail I'm going to do here I'm going to have a contrasting piece of wood on the front not sure what it's going to be yet but uh, these will also be made out of Baltic birch uh, half inch again so half inch triangles half inch base and then um, this little eighth inch piece is going to be like I said some kind of a contrasting wood so here's the detail I was talking about so I want to bring these I want to cut these triangles and then have this uh, front piece uh, recessed into it now, I'm not sure about if I'm going to be able to make this point, you know, perfectly uh, flush here, or if I may have a little bit of a, a lip there and blend it in. But we'll see how that goes when I get down there and start doing this stuff. So, kind of a pretty simple thing, just a lot of uh, cutting and repeating. Um, the other thing is I'm going to mount these shelves. Uh, they'll, these, these. Uh, base pieces in here will be doweled in on the on the bottom here with a couple dowels and then these will be fastened to the backer board with two dowels coming coming through the backboard and then into these triangles and that's how they'll they'll mount to that uh, uh, piece there so you'll see you won't see any fasteners I guess you'll see the dowels on the edges here which I kind of like that look they'll be trim flush and uh, they're also a, a bit of a contrasting color. So uh, that's it. I'm, I'm looking forward to making some sawdust again here. So let's get let's get down to the shop. I'll show you my old uh, shelf, and then uh, we'll start c constructing this one. Okay, here you can see my current board for holding my block planes and uh, bench planes. And then with the purchase of this number six from Wood River, or I'm sorry, not number six, number five and a half. Um, uh, this, is, this is the wide body plane, similar to the six and the number seven. But I don't have any, uh, a spot for it. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm building a new board. So um, this thing has got a slight tilt to it, but you can see that there, these, these things are kind of precarious position if you don't have some kind of a locking me mechanism to keep them from coming out. So these are all secure. This one's secure, but these are these are not as secure as I would like them. They'll they, they could tip out pretty easy along with this one here. So um, I want to get going on those uh, triangular uh, sides to the shelves that I showed you in my 
drawing up uh, on the computer, and then um, show you how I'm going to use those in conjunction with my Dow Max and, and then a new tool I've just recently purchased, the uh, Woodpecker's Story Stick uh, for locating the dowels on the, on the board. And I hope that it, uh, it's going to work out well for me. So let me, let me show you the procedure of uh, the sequence of cuts that I have to make um, to, to get the quality cut I guess I'm looking for on those triangular sides.